Welcome! Hey guys! Okay, so today is going to be a little bit more laid back. Um, I feel like we've gotten a ton of new subscribers, so I wanted to do a like get to know me kind of video, a little bit more, you know, personal, who I am, like what, what, what is, what is me, what is about me, like about me kind of stuff. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, I do want to start out by saying thank you to all of our new subscribers. We are super close to a thousand subscribers. Like, oh my God. You guys, I remember if you've been here since like I had 10 subscribers, like thank you. And isn't that awesome? Like, I can't even believe that I have, I think it's like over 700 subscribers now. Once we hit a thousand, I will be doing a giveaway and I'm hoping to work with Lavi again and give away two Lavi products, but we'll see. Um, their stuff is so awesome, you guys. Anyways, but I talk about them way too much. So, um, I have my little phone here, and I'm going to be reading off a couple of questions. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to do. I might, like, skip them. You know, there's no, like, order. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will link it here. Uh, I did just turn 30, so, you know, that's fun. Um, some of these questions you know, who knows? Like, I don't know what they're going to be. It's, it said like 300 something, um, get to know me questions. So if they're weird, I'm sorry. If I look like I'm like, uh, it's because I'll just skip over it. Cause it's like not something that I want to share a hundred percent, but I wanted to kind of just put this video out here for people who are like, wait, what does she do? Like, what's about her? What's more, you know, like about this person? I can't speak. So we're just gonna head in. I also like have a headache emerging, so if I don't make any sense, it's because my head is not right. Okay, first question. What is your name? Uh, my name is Kimberly. And what does your name mean? Uh, I think it means like Royal Meadow, which I always thought was like super cool because, I don't know, like who wouldn't want their name to be Royal Meadow? Um, are you named after anyone? No, not that I know of. I do know that I was going to be called like Barbara Ellen for like the longest time. My parents were like, yeah, Barbara Ellen. And then I think my dad or both of my parents were like, mm, no, let's do with Kimberly. And I'm like, thank you. So um, does your name make any interesting anagrams? I have no idea. I don't have the mental space to even think about that. Um, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? <laughs> I feel like these, I don't, I like my name. Okay. I don't want to change my name. Where am I from? New Hampshire. Um, where was I born? I was born in Connecticut. Uh, where did I grow up? New Hampshire. Um, who did I look up to growing up? <sighs> who did I look up to? I don't know. Um, probably my parents. Um, I still feel like, I, I don't feel like I ever had like a celebrity, maybe Brittany. Cause she's like awesome, but I didn't like want to be Brittany, you know? Um, let's see. What are your best characteristics? Uh, I feel like I'm kind of weird and funny. I feel like I can kind of be with like any type of personality and have like a good time. And I also really try to, um, you know, involve everybody and just be like, on the same level, I guess, as everybody. Just try to include everybody, try to be nice to everybody, you know, kill people with kindness type stuff. Um, what's your favorite thing about yourself? Uh, being a mom, being a wife. Um, I love, I love that I am most of the time like at this kind of crazy level of excitement. I like that about myself where I feel like a lot of people like, they're like, Oh, you know, tone it down. And I'm just like, no, nope. always here. Um, which of your parents are you more like? I don't know. I feel like I'm a pretty good mix of both of them. Um, are your grandparents still married? Uh, both of my grandparents are actually well, technically they would be, um, but they've each had a death in their fam- like, so I don't have a grandmother, I just have grandfathers, so they technically would still be married, if that makes sense. Um, what relative was important to you growing up and why? 
I feel like these like aren't these aren't really good questions. Hold on a minute. Okay, so these questions are a little bit better. I feel like those other questions were like too... I don't know. Alright, so have I ever been in a bachelor or bachelorette party? Uh, yes, I think. I don't remember. Um, have you ever gotten a ticket for driving? A ticket? Mm, no, I think I've gotten like a warning. Like a verbal warning. I don't think I've ever gotten a ticket. I've gotten a ticket, like a parking ticket. But I've never gotten a, a written ticket. How can you tell when I'm having a bad day? How can you tell if I'm having a bad day? I'm in a mood. <laughs> Am I creative? Yes, very. How often do you use social media? Um, definitely daily. Um, it's probably something that I want to cut back on, but it's really hard. Kind of like water. Would I rather live in a big city or on a farm? Definitely a farm. I mean, I live in New England right now, so it's sort of like I wouldn't want to live in a city. Am I neat or messy? I am definitely neat. Uh, I feel like my house is messy like a hundred percent of the time, but I know it's not. So I'm like a neat freak, I guess. Um, do I believe in life after death? Yes. Yes. Um, but I consider, but I consider myself more of a spiritual person. Do I believe in life on other planets? Totally. Ugh, totally. Uh, what are two things that I'm really good at? Um, I can sing. Uh, hmm. Another thing. I'm trying to like not make this like pumping or mom related. Oh, a drawing, painting. I like went to school for art actually. So that's kind of like my second thing. Photography, I should say. What are three things that I want to have if I was stranded on an island? Probably water, chapstick, and sunglasses. Um, what position do I sleep in? Definitely on my side. What do I do to de-stress? Um, probably like taking a bath, reading. Um, if it's nice, I like going for walks. And we're back. Sorry that the light keeps changing. Um, it's like freaking... 9 30 in the morning so the lights kind of like all over the place anyways have you ever seen a ghost or had any kind of paranormal experience i totally have uh my camera just died um it's never been anything evil though but totally have what was your favorite subject in school probably like the reading or the art definitely loved all of that what was your least favorite uh math um can't do that to save my life what is one club that I participated in at school? Uh, I don't think I ever was in any clubs. Who is my oldest friend? Um, she has been on my channel a couple of times, Nicole. Um, we've literally been friends for like over a decade. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, what, did you, what year did I graduate high school? And that was 2009. Ugh, that's, that's so long ago. Am I close to my parents? Yes. Um, do I curse a lot? Yes. But I try and keep my channel mm, like, you know, PG, PG 13. Uh, how do I show someone that I love them? Um, I probably tell them or like hug them. How do I like being affectionate in public? Not really. Um, I'm definitely like more of, you know, keep it, keep it indoors type of person. Um, but like holding hands or like hugging and stuff is fine. Uh, I don't know. I've never really thought about it, I guess. How long does it take me to get ready in the morning? Uh, like, I don't know. Probably It depends. Like if I have to take a shower, then it'll take me like 30 minutes. If I don't like less than 10 because I literally just stick my hair up and like put clothes on and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I do my makeup. I try to do my makeup every day. I am probably going to do it after this video because I like it and I'm thinking of curling my hair. Um, but for you guys, I wanted real mom and so I don't always do that, you know. Um, let's see. What are some of the best vacations I've had? I just went to Florida and that was awesome for my 30th birthday. 
um, what habit do I have now that I wish I started much earlier? Saving money. <laughs> I feel like everybody wishes that they had that as a good habit. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, do I floss? Yes, but not like every time. Do I move around a lot in bed? I have no idea. Do I snore? Probably. Do I have any useless talents? I don't know. Um, probably but I, I'm not really sure. On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you say I am? I have no idea. Maybe a 6? Um, if I had a warning label, what would it say? Look out? <laughs> I don't know. Um, if I had a giraffe, what? That I needed to hide, where would I hide it? Um, behind a tree? I don't know. Like, who, who knows that? What's the silliest thing I've convinced someone of? I have no idea. Some of these questions I literally don't even know, guys. Like, I'm not even sure. What, what odd smell do I really enjoy? Mmm, I still don't like... Well, I know of a smell that I don't like, and it's the smell of the toaster. I don't know why I don't like smelling toaster scent, but I do like toast, so that's kind of weird. Do I take leftovers home when I eat out? Yes. Normally I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, what is the most complicated thing that I've had, that I have ever had tried to, that I have ever cooked? That's the most complicated sentence I've ever tried to read. Um, probably like the first time I tried to cook a turkey for Thanksgiving. It was super complicated. Um, but now like it's fine. What is the furthest that I've ever traveled? Um, I think Florida's the furthest I've ever been just from where I am. So I'm in New Hampshire and that's like a three hour flight for me. So that's like the longest I've ever been to. Do I collect anything? Do breast pumps count? I used to collect like, um, like artwork or certain, not like really expensive artwork, but just like little pieces from like either local artists or just pieces of art that I liked, like that kind of stuff. How old was I when I learned Santa wasn't real and how did I find out? Um, I actually found out just because like I guessed, I guess. This is coming from my mom. So she said that I was like, wait, there's no way there's a real Santa because um, their handwriting was the same on like the Santa box and the box that was from my parents. And so I guess I ended up figuring that out myself. My mom said I was like five or six. So I don't know. What do I think about when I'm alone? Um, probably my family because I would miss them. I feel like that's kind of it that I'm going to do for the questions. Uh, I hope that this was interesting. Um, like, I feel like some of those questions were kind of weird, but um, I'm going to like just talk a little bit about like some of my just background here on YouTube for any of you new subscribers. And if you're sort of just like, so wait, what? Like, what's her story? So um, I was actually a gestational carrier. Uh, or surrogate uh, back in April of 2019 I delivered a baby girl for a family uh, that was about a stay away from me and we did have a surrogate agency I will link a couple of my surrogate uh, related videos down below for you to watch that have a little bit more details um, but yes I was a gestational surrogate which means that it was somebody else's egg and somebody else's sperm that they um, fertilized in a tube and then they transfer that egg inside of me and then I grew a baby for them um, and I did go through an agency it was all legal we had contracts we had lawyers um, this definitely was not like a you know behind the doors type of deal like this was all legally um, safe and we went to a clinic we had a doctor um, my midwife was there like it was it was a huge process, but also a really rewarding process for the family and for our family. I would highly recommend um, you looking into surrogacy if you are parents who are having trouble getting pregnant, you're having trouble with adoption. Um, surrogacy is definitely a viable option. I know that some people think that it's too expensive, that you won't be able to afford it, um, but there are a lot of different kind of routes to go about with surrogacy. If you find that right agency, they will work with you financially and get you that 
dream family. So definitely don't write surrogacy off like thinking that it's too much. Um, there are a lot of surrogates that do go compensation free or low compensation. Um, there are a lot of surrogate, surrogates that go higher compensation. Don't think that you can't afford surrogacy if you're looking into it. Definitely do your research. Um, if you are looking to become a surrogate, definitely make sure that you are in the right mindset and that you have all of the correct requirements. Um, I will either put something on the screen here as the requirements of what to be a, of how to be a surrogate and I'll put some links down below um, for you guys to look at. I will also link my agency down below. If you do actually end up like signing on with the agency, let me know and I can give you um, you know a reference to them. Um, they're super, super awesome. I highly recommend them. We had a great experience with our agency. After I had the baby in April, I wanted to exclusively pump for the circuit baby. Uh, the family only wanted the milk for about four months and after that I transitioned over to exclusively pumping for a milk bank called Prolacta Bioscience, which is out in California. And I am now 10 months exclusively pumping for that milk bank and I love it. I do still pump for local moms because some of my milk um, can't actually go to the milk bank because this milk bank specifically deals with premature babies. So um, my cleaning routine is super, super rigid um, and it's pretty intense. So when I'm not at my house or if I'm traveling, that milk can't go to the milk bank. So I do have kind of like a separate milk that goes to milk bank and then I have milk that goes to local moms. The milk bank does provide certain things for us like shipping, milk bags, um, yeah, I think that's about it actually. <laughs> the milk bank that I do uh, pump for does actually compensate, which is super awesome. They do have a uh, they do have a sister branch called uh, Tiny Tiny Treasures Milk Bank that any mom who is exclusively pumping it, they don't have to be a surrogate um, can donate to. So I will link them down below. If you are a surrogate and you're looking to donate your milk to the milk bank that is specific for surrogates, please um, DM me or personal message me and I will give you their information. That milk bank is strictly um, word of mouth, so they don't necessarily like us to just kind of like blurt out what it is. Um, and once you kind of get into that milk bank, you'll understand. Anyway, so I am an exclusive pumper. I started my channel I want to say over a year ago. It has to be about like two years by now. I can't even remember, but over a year ago, um, my channel is a dedicated mom channel. Um, it's growing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what 2020 will bring for this channel. If you are new, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We would love to have you. Um, I will be doing another giveaway at a thousand subscribers, so let's get there. I know that we totally can because we got to all of our other goals. Um, I am an affiliate with Lavi, so if you guys are interested in getting any of their products, I do have a coupon code with them, and it does go to support me, and it gets you guys 10% off, which is awesome. Um, and I think that's just about it. So um, thank you again for all of your support and love, and I love reading all of your comments and hearing all of your questions on Instagram or on YouTube. And um, thank you again for being here, and I will see you in my next video.